Hello there, this is Rupesh and you are watching CVP Nuts video series on C++. And this video is about reference variable in C++. So this reference variable is not there in C, it is there in C++. Okay. So what is the meaning of this reference variable? It means that when a variable is declared as reference, it becomes an alternative name for the existing variable. Point this for an existing variable. So in order to create a reference variable, you must have first some existing variable which this will refer okay so it is something like this let's suppose you are having some integer variable x here then you will make some reference variable and the syntax for that is this one r is equal to x that's it so what you did by doing this let's suppose you created this x is equal to 10 here okay so if you are writing this line then memory would be created for this x and this 10 will go into that okay so let's suppose there is some memory like this one and this is your memory portion and in that memory you are storing this 10 here okay and this x is pointing to that memory got it now but telling that i'm making this r as the reference of this x which is nothing but you are creating another variable but that variable is also pointing to this memory here okay so this is the difference between this normal variable and reference variable let's suppose you might have created some another variable like this integer k and you might have created like this is equal to x so this integer x is a normal variable so if it is not a reference variable and you are assigning x into that so we know how normal variable gets created this x was normal that's why the memory was created for that so this k is normal then the memory would be created for k also so whatever is there in this x will come here okay so k will point to this memory location and this x is pointing to its own memory location okay so in this case if you will change this k by initializing something else like 11 then this k will change not this x but in case of reference variable here as both are pointing to the same memory location if you will change this memory location either using x like x is equal to 10 or 100 then this 100 will come here so if you will print either x or r both will print 100 okay because this r is also pointing to this memory location and whatever the location was holding it was changed by 100 got it so this is something like this so let's take an example in program here there is this normal variable x is equal to 10 here and you are making another variable let's suppose reference variable and we are giving it as r okay and you are initializing this into x i mean r so this r is the reference of x okay so this is the syntax of creating a reference variable okay now let's do some operations so that we can check whether it is really pointing to the same memory location or not so if you will print here x which is nothing but 10 here so it will print the value of x so if you will print r then it will print the same thing which is pointing as x here okay now if you will change x is equal to let's suppose 100 as i told and if you will print this again so i'll just copy and paste it here so after changing this x is equal to 100 this x will also 100 and r will be also 100 so let's try that see first it is 10 and 10 after that both are 100 so it's not like if you will change x then only it will change if you'll change r then also it will change that only they are sharing the memory right so see if you are changing r here then also x is changing got it so that implies that both are pointing to the same memory location okay and there are few points with this reference variable and the first point is you cannot simply create this reference variable like this and later on you initialize with x no this is not working okay because the rule is whenever you create a reference variable like this it has to 
tell that what it is referring. It cannot refer nothing and later on you are assigning that. Okay. So that is first rule. And second thing is, let's suppose you made it like this, which is the initial case. Now you cannot point this R to refer something else. Let's suppose you created two variables, y is equal to 20. Okay. And you initially told that this R will be referring x and you printed here and later on you want this R to refer something else like y or something. No, this won't work here. Okay, actually this will copy whatever is there inside y inside r. There is no way to change the reference of r to something else other than this x. Okay, so these are few points you should be very careful when you are implementing your programs. Got it? So if you like the video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. So I'll see you in the next video.